Hi, today I'm doing a Sundance challenge. My friend Christina has tasked me with finding three days worth of looks for her trip up to Hollywood on the slopes. And the challenge there is that yes, it's a fashionable Hollywood crowd, but you still have to navigate the weather. So let's see what we can do. I asked Christina what she already had on hand because I'm a big believer in you know using what you've got first and foremost. So she's isolated uh, three pairs of jeans, two pairs of boots, and some outerwear, but what she's really struggling with is tops. Oh, this is amazing. For sure you have to use this. I love this statement piece of a jacket. It's amazing. It's gonna keep you super warm. Because it's fairly fitted, you wanna have a thin layer underneath, and then the boots and jeans just kind of disappear, which I think you know really allows the jacket to do the talking because that's the real statement piece of the whole look. Well, another idea that I love for Sundance is kind of an updated take on the grunge look with the thermal underneath and the plaid shirt over top. For me, the most amazing aspect of it is the boots. They work beautifully with the thickly cuffed denim. This is an updated grunge look with a little zhuzh. These are the pieces that are jumping out to me for your outerwear look. What I love about this look is that even though we're just seeing your outerwear, we're still very much seeing your personality. This vest has some serious drama. The hat is darling. And you've got your warm layering with your zip up micro fleece. Now we're gonna run out for one more look. We're gonna see if we can find something special for a top piece uh, on a budget. So we're gonna go see what we can find. We just got back from Crossroads and we found two great pieces as one does because sometimes, you know, the shopping gods smile on you. And so we're gonna put them together with what uh, else we have set aside. This sweater jumped out because it is so very you. I like it paired with this sort of slightly harder, more masculine bottom because I think it's a good juxtaposition. So you have bohemian on top and a little more urban city sleek on the bottom. We have this bonus blouse that we found. So we are putting it with a cropped jacket that Christina already had on hand. And the great thing about this is that it gives her an elevated nighttime look in case she needs one. In the end, with only $45 spent on two new pieces, Christina has been able to sort her entire capsule wardrobe for Sundance. That she's got a really limited number of pieces. She knows exactly how to wear them and she loves everything that she's bringing. So mission accomplished.